Well, as you all know, next week is the Culture Festival. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. <sighs> you guys don't care, do you? We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Wow. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's a group date cafe? Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is group date cafe. Second vote, group date cafe. Huh? Seriously? Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Group date cafe, group date cafe, study room, group date cafe. Place? What are we gonna do? Don't ask me! This is your fault! I do wonder though, do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. What the? You voted for it? Yeah, I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. But Yosuke's the one behind it! Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? Seriously, what is a group date cafe? I voted for it and I didn't even know. Oh my gosh. How the heck's this going to turn out?
know the photo you found before? I gave it back to Dad. He looked happy and smiled at me. Big Bro, I love my dad. <laughs> I think so too. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. He smiled at me and said, you remember too? Dad loves Mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. Yeah, I won't go anywhere. I'm glad to be Dad's daughter. It's your turn to talk. Yay! Today is steak bowl day! Just you wait! I don't have any more. Don't tell me they're at it again! Let's go! What are you up to? Huh? Aw, oh, not her again! <laughs> I know how to handle this bitch. <laughs> you look like you got something planned. Help! Hear that, Chie-chan? He wants help. How do you know my name? We ran into the guy you saved last time. Had a friendly conversation. He told us all kinds of stuff, like where you live and about that precious Yukiko-san of yours. What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just gonna have a little chat with this kid. Stay put, okay? Cause who knows what'll happen to Yukiko-san if you get in our way. Ah, <laughs> man, that's nasty. Why, you? <laughs> yeah, we can't let these guys get away. You sure about that? So you don't care what happens to your loved ones? You're pissed at me, right? Then why don't you just take a swing at me? I won't fight back. Be my guest. The face, the gut, just pick a target. As hard as you want. Come on! Freak. What's with this bitch? She for real? Whatever, man. Let's go. Miss, thank you. No, don't worry about it. <sighs> My heart's still pounding. 
<laughs> Was that stupid of me? Thanks. It might have been stupid, but I wanted to save them. That kid, Yukiko. How I feel about this isn't fake. I really want to protect them. Um, well, I also want to protect you. I might be a little flaky, and maybe you don't even need protecting. But I... I want to protect you. <sighs> huh? Uh, um, um... Okay, you sure? This is me we're talking about. Then, ah, uh, this this is embarrassing. <laughs> You're back. Hello.
So, this is your room. It's pretty clean. Trying to keep the place tidy for when you move out? Oh... Oh, well... How did the room you had back home look? Oh... I wish I could see what it looked like. My room's covered with posters and stuff. It's a complete mess. <laughs> oh, um... I'm sorry to barge in like this. Well, see... There's something I want you to hear. Only you. Um... I still don't have a clue what my good points are. But I thought I could just keep on searching. I was thinking maybe both of us together? Yeah! So, here. From me to you. Oh! And it's new, so it's clean. It makes a matching pair with mine. <laughs> I think this power of mine is what I wanted all along. The power to protect everyone. I understand now. I'm not supposed to use it to become more self-reliant. I'm supposed to use this power to protect people. Yukiko, my friends, my family, this town, and you. for this. I love you. I just got done with training. I am... I'm still all sweaty. Wait, the, the, oh, that's not what I meant. What am I saying? But... <sighs> Idiot.
Good morning. Yo! It's quite all right. Excuse me. Huh? Huh? I see. I see. Dad? bringing me into this world.
Thank you. Stay by my side. You're back. Hey.
Senpai. Well... Senpai. Later. Together, big bro. There's a lot to do today. I bought a bunch of dishes, pickled radish, and veggies at Juness. Big bro, can you make a salad? Right then, you can be the salad maker, and I'll be the um the egg sunny side up maker. We have to start eating our vegetables from now on. A well-balanced diet is important. My teacher said that families help each other. After mom died, 
dad and me have both been lonely, but... But I have dad, and I need to do my best so dad doesn't feel lonely either. You're my family too, so let's work hard together. Giving this to you. Dad made extra copies. Your family too, so you should have a family picture. Let's get a picture of you and me and Dad all together one day. <laughs> I love you, big bro. Your dad will be home before we're done. I'm home. Dad, welcome home. Y yeah. <laughs> I made dinner with Big Fro today. We made salad and um um a bunch of other stuff. I see. Good work, Nanako. Go wash your hands. Hurry, sit down. She's really cheerful. I'm sure it's thanks to you. Dad, big bro, hurry, hurry. I got it, I got it. Let's eat then. Yo! On top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? So that's why she agreed to plan this event. a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Risa Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. <laughs> Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. 
but to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> Yo, are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. You better have a damn good explanation for this! For what? wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in. Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? I, I, I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? You might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys, but I guess you're not that uptight. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right! That's the way to go! Teddy's looking forward to it too. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. Oh, so Ted's behind this too. <sighs> We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. I, I mean, just do it. You know? Seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji. Just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on! Make me a man! Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, 
It'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. You're back. job. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see, Yosuke Hanamura... Me?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here, too! Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get, like, two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought! Seriously, that's really wrong! Someone else signs you up? It's them! They must have done this! Damn good explanation for this. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing. 
Marisa-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this. So I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. You little... This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. <laughs> There's no way she's gonna listen. Wh Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa Chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> oh, welcome home, big bro.